Marshall heads to Troy. I talked about this a little bit in the preview. But 7 p.m. Eastern Time on NFL Network, Troy is a three and a half point home dog. Total of 51 and a half. Uh, Marshall, four and one against the spread in their last five on the road. Troy is one and five against the spread in their last six at home. Now, obviously, this goes. Uh, Charles Huff has already been there, but John Sumrall not exactly had a lot of home games here. So let's see what happens. Let's see what goes on. Uh, Troy is returning several guys that did not play against App State last week. I think they will be uh, very useful this week. I will certainly say that. Now, uh, my numbers on this, and these are, of course, the raw numbers, etc. My numbers on this have Marshall covering the game, winning by eight points. Uh, they're a three and a half point favorite. I'm going to go against my number on this. Um, I think Troy's defense is really, really good. You look at that strength of schedule, number 19 for Troy, number 55 for Marshall. Uh, yes, a win over Notre Dame is pretty cool. I don't know that I could say that Troy wouldn't have been able to go and beat Notre Dame two Saturdays ago. Just saying. I think that Troy and their defense are incredibly, incredibly talented. And I think Sumrall has some schemes that can really give Marshall some fits. You look at Marshall's numbers, number two in PPA per pass. They are number 58 in PPA per rush. And I look at this, and I, I think, uh, excuse me, number two in PPA per pass defense, uh, number 58 per rush defense. I think Gunnar Watson is doing some pretty interesting things. Like, I think he has been way more effective than we want to give him credit for. And I, I think Troy will find a way to put up some points here. But the biggest thing is, I think they are going to be able to stymie that offense for Marshall. Uh, I think the defense is better than what the numbers you're seeing are because obviously they've played App State and they've played uh, uh, Ole Miss already on the year. So, yeah, Troy, it's kind of difficult. This is kind of a must-win spot for both of these teams. Marshall coming off of a loss against Bowling Green. Um, I Yeah, I understand. They beat Notre Dame. I get it. And Troy played App State close. But Marshall got beat by Bowling Green. Uh, I think I'm going to ride with Troy on this. This feels like a last-second win for either one of these teams. I think Troy can win the game. I will certainly take them as the underdog here. So give me Troy to cover three and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.